we're going to uncover the truth about cheap Chinese radios. Now, it's a topic that sparks a lot of debate, but today we're going to explore five things that you ought to know before you go and invest in one of these. First, let's acknowledge that cheap Chinese radios have gained immense popularity over the last few years, and for good reason too. The primary appeal is their budget-friendly price, and it's easy to see why beginners and hobbyists find these radios accessible and affordable, especially when compared to higher price radios. This reduces the cost for newcomers who just want to get started in ham radio or GMRS without a substantial financial commitment. Now, of course, if you already own a higher end radio, then they can also serve a dual purpose, that being a good backup or secondary radio. For instance, one of my Baofeng radios sits in the glove box of my car, just in case I need it. A warning here though, just remember don't leave your Baofeng radio in plain sight in your vehicle. But seriously, having a backup radio for emergencies or field operations is essential. Often these radios also come with a multitude of different features and applications, such as this Quanchang UVK5 here. This has demonstrated that it has a wide frequency range using hackable firmware that others have discovered, something that the manufacturer never intended, but great for experimentation. Now, if you opt to use one of these in your project, such as a Fox transmitter or a low powered repeater, or maybe even a portable APRS setup, then it allows you to have an affordable, cost-effective option compared to a higher price radio that you might otherwise need to use. Not only does it save you money, but it also gives you an invaluable hands-on learning experience in experimenting and playing around with these radios to learn just how they work. But now we need to address the elephant in the room, and that is the quality of these cheap Chinese radios, because while it's true that some of them can be surprisingly decent, not all of them are built the same. The quality can tend to greatly differ between different brands and models and some cheap radios may not even meet the performance and durability expectations of some serious radio enthusiasts. Common issues could include flimsy build materials, lackluster battery life or even poor receiver overload or sensitivity. Some may even have issues with poor spurious emission output and spectral purity. It pays to do proper research. If you're concerned about a particular radio, you can find the FCC ID before you go and purchase, and you can look this up on the FCCID.io website. This is a free website where you can search and view all the tests done on devices that have been registered for the FCC. And this is especially the case when searching for radios such as this TalkPod here to see if it has certification for GMRS or Part 95E. Of course, though, this still may not tell the full story. And of course, some models might come from any random number of factories or sellers, such as this Baofeng UV5R. Additionally, long-term support and firmware can be a bit lacklustre. It may not even exist in some cases. With all of that said, however, even though they may lack advanced features, they can still provide essential communication and local contacts on ham radio or GMRS. For those who are beginners learning about radio communication and technology, well, these inexpensive radios can provide and be valuable tools to grasp the fundamental concepts before you go and invest in a higher end radio. Now, I did a poll recently that showed me that 56% of 1,400 of you that were polled said that you have had your amateur radio license for less than five years or you haven't even got it yet. Now, it's always been my goal through this channel to help you learn more about amateur radio and to progress towards getting your license or upgrading. Speaking of which, I would like to briefly talk about the sponsor of today's video, Ham Radio Prep. Ham Radio Prep is an easy, fun, and modern way to get your license with just a few hours of study. They allow you to study online and at your own pace. The Ham Radio Prep app is also available free on your smartphone, and it's loaded with practice tests and quizzes for all three amateur radio license classes in the United States. In addition, they offer paid courses designed to help you pass your amateur radio exam. I myself, I'm using them to study for my extra license class. Now, I have a special discount for you if you want to study with Ham Radio Prep. You can use the code HAMDX at checkout to receive 20% off any course on their website. 
The next crucial aspect to consider is safety and especially electrical safety. This should never be compromised, especially when you're dealing with radio and electronics. Cheap Chinese radios may not always meet the required safety standards and they can lead to potential hazards. It's essential to look for radios that carry appropriate safety certifications such as CE, FCC or ROHS to ensure that they adhere to safety guidelines. Customer support and warranty are often overlooked and I guess in some regards that's due to the fact that because they're so cheap, if it breaks, you just go and buy another one. But for those of you who do want this support, if something goes wrong, then it pays to buy from a reputable brand, someone that is going to honor a warranty and or fix or replace your radio if something does go wrong. With some of these lesser known brands, it's not going to be as reliable. Reading reviews and doing your research can also give you an idea of what to expect in terms of post-purchase support and warranty coverage, as well as overall satisfaction with the product. Now, the truth is, is that there are pros and cons to buying cheap Chinese radios. If you're a beginner or just looking for a budget-friendly way to explore radio communication, they might just suit your needs just fine. But in the end, it comes down to your specific requirements and preferences. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to whether these cheap Chinese radios are going to be suitable for you or not. Remember just to do your research and to read reviews just so that you can make an informed decision. Don't forget that with careful consideration, you may find a gem in amongst the sea of options that are available. The Baofeng UV5R, is that a gem? Let me know in the comments below whether you do think so or not. I asked the question, do you love or hate the Baofeng UV5R? And over 81% of people said that they loved it. So I don't know, it's got a cult-like status to it, doesn't it? Now, I've reviewed quite a few of these cheap Chinese radios and you can find them over here. This will allow you to make an informed decision about your next radio purchase.